today we're going to show you how to replace your existing door contacts if you've managed to damage it somehow for this we're going to show you this is a grade one contact as we know it today this is what would normally be fitted on a domestic um, alarm system usually on a PVC door or an old wooden door where it's been awkward to fit a flush contact generally these grade one style contacts are mostly the same size and what we're looking at inside here is the two silver terminals are for the contact and the three brass screws here are just for jointing the cables together what we're going to do is we're going to rewire this contact using four wires now there's no set color codes for installers to use so I'm just going to choose four for the purpose of this demonstration which is going to be red and black and blue and yellow I'm going to strip each of the cores back that I want to use for about a centimetre or so like that using a pair of ordinary side cutters and I'm going to use blue and yellow for tamper which I'm just gently going to roll in between my fingers to twist them two together and we're going to use red and black for circuit which again I'm just going to roll in my fingers just to tighten the cores up next to each other because they are actually single strands of cable in there don't know if you can see that there so by rolling your fingers, you tie them up, it's going to make it easier for you to wire them onto the contact now there's two ways that we could wire this contact and that is we can either just wrap the cables around the screw like so or if you wanted to and you find it easier we can lift this little section out here which then you can hold this in your hand I tend to find that this can be a little bit easier to do and then as a personal preference for me I always wrap these wires around the way that you tighten the screw up personal preference but I think it makes it easier to be able to screw it Again, any of the middle screws, they're not connected to anything, they're just there for jointing the cables together for the tamper. So we'll turn up like so. And then what we'll do is we'll just cut off these little end pieces here to tidy it up. Again, I've used these colours for the purpose of this demonstration, but if your installer has used different colours, you're going to have to interpret that yourself to see what you would have on these end terminals here, the most important bits. If you've got an older system, you might find the installer might not have actually have... use tamper so you might find you might have to just have the two wires here for the contact say when the door is open or closed if you do remove this from the contact all that you have to bear in mind is that on the contacts you have a little arrow I don't know if you can see it there just make sure when you slot this back in that the reed switch goes to the same direction as where the arrow is so we'll clip that back in there also in the corners of these you have little bits where you can cut them out here in the corners which I've already done on this one and what that allows you to do is if you put all your cable in place if your cable is surface on your door it allows you to fit your contact flush rather than trapping your cable the other thing to note as well is that with this like I pointed out you have this triangle here also on the magnet 
you'll find that there is also a triangle on the magnet as well. When you're fitting these to the doors, it's a good idea to get these two to sit as close as we can without them actually touching, but to get the arrows to actually point to each other, just to make sure that it all lines up correctly. Once you've marked that up, we can then put the screws in and tighten them up to the door frame. I hope that was of use to you. Like I said, your colours might be different, so you'll have to interpret that one for yourself because I can't tell you what every installation company might or might not use. And for next tuitions, what I might do is I'll look into doing this again, but with endoline resistors. I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks.